What's up guys, my name's Cam, I'm a VFX artist and director. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the sick title card. It mixes 3D bullets along with a 3D text effect. So no more talk, let's get straight into the tutorial. Let's go. So guys, what I've done is I've just added a new text layer in and you can see that I've kept it relatively simple. Try not to use any complicated or hard to read fonts because when you turn them into a 3D objects, they get pretty hard to read depending on how clear they are. So I've kept it pretty simple, just bullet title card. Trust me, it'll look pretty sick in the end. I'm going to lower the opacity of the bottom layer just so I can see what I'm doing as well. Now I'm going to add in a new solid just like this. And I'm going to be going pretty quick guys because you're intermediates. Beginner ones, I've got a whole 16 minute tutorial on how to do it from scratch, okay? So go see that first. But if you're intermediate, let's carry on. Basically, I'm gonna add in a Element 3D layer like normal. So essentially, you're gonna go into your Element 3D layer, custom layers, custom texture maps, and on layer one, you're gonna set it to your original footage, which is nested sequence zero one for me. And then I'm gonna go also into custom text and masks and go into path layer one and set that to our text layer. Now let's go into scene setup and see what we're working with. First thing you need to do is go into the environment, drop down menu and set it to your custom layer one. Then you need to press extrude straight away and you can see the actual text has appeared right in front of you. Using the bevel scale, you can adjust how thick you want it to be. And there's also other settings that you can play around with depending on what you want to do. That thickness is okay for me. It's around, let's say 10 around that's fine for me so i'm going to leave that as it is look guys you're intermediate so i'm not going to go very deep into this but if you wanted to do your own materials this is where you can do it but i'm going to be using a pro shaders two pack you can get with element 3d so you can see it's got all these nice things to work with i'm going to be using a metal to match the bullet effect i'm going to go with a clean metal light and there we go Already, that's pretty sick looking to me. We're gonna change up the environment anyway in just a second anyways. But you can see that's pretty cool looking. I'm also going to add in a deep glow to the element layer, just so I can see everything a bit better. Plus it gives it a pretty cool look. So guys, to have more control of the lighting and everything, go into your element layer, which contains this nice little text layer. Then go down into the render settings, physical environment, rotate environment. And from here, you can just change around where the text picks up the environment from in the image okay so guys just playing through that i'm pretty happy with how that's looking it's got a nice little blue tint to it to match the car in the back plus it's pretty easy to read which is the main thing you want so i'm going to go into group one then straight into particle look then you can see a couple options appear in front of you to collapse it to make it easier to see i'm going to be going into deform i'd like you to go into twist and press enable this is what we're going to be using to start with from there i went to keyframe twist x and just twist it in one direction just like this also make sure to hide your original text layer which is this one over here then go to the end of the clip and then just twist it the opposite direction to roughly just somewhere along the other way of the scale so playing through it you can see it's twisting itself from one side to the other just like that so guys, I want to keep it pretty simple. So apart from that twist animation, I'm just going to keyframe position Z. Then this is where we wanted to leave it to start with. Okay, so I'm going to bring that a bit to the right, go back to the beginning and just keep raising the Z value to it. It practically disappears. So you can see the point where it's disappeared. I'm just going to leave it till let's say about there. That's fine for me. Now I'm going to go into all of the keyframes we've made and make sure to press F9. Now I'm going to highlight the position Z keyframes we've just done. Then go into the graph editor and make a sharper curve just like this. Now you can see it's given us a cool little effect like this. We're also going to make sure to add in motion blur to our effects because it just simply makes everything better. Then once you've done that, we need to raise the position Z value a bit more so it slowly zooms and increases. So now that's the zoom effect done and the twist effect done for the animation. Now there's only a couple more things for the text and we're done. So guys, I ended up going back into the form and now I'm going to be using the phase Y just like this. So I've just zoomed in to the phase Y where I see it kind of looks all crunched together. I'm going to keyframe that and bring that to the start. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to essentially make it do a whole 360 turn like this until we're back pretty much in the middle again. And you can see it's just made one full rotation. I'm going to put them a bit further apart and also make sure to F9 them just like this. And there we go, guys. That's a spinning animation. That's pretty cool. But now you can see we're starting off pretty rough here. So all I'm really going to do just to make it a bit easier is do a simple opacity thing. So keyframe from 0 to 100 as an intermediate, you should already know how to do this. And there we go, guys. That is a text animation done. Now it's time to do the bullets animation. This is the fun part. Let's go. 
So I'm just going to rename that to a uh, text element just so we know which one to look at because now we're going to be adding in a new solid with a new element 3D layer because we need a separate one for the bullets. Now go into scene setup and drop in your 3D bullet model, which I'll be linking in the description. So guys, this is the one we're going to be using. Like I said, it's in the description below if you want to download it. It's completely free. Just go into download 3D model and make sure you get the OBJ file. So essentially make sure you're doing the same things, going into texture maps and setting the layer one to your original base clip just so we get the lighting right so guys i've already done a good few deep 3d element tutorials on how to texture but i'm just being lazy in this one and quick so i'm just going to use the pro shaders pack and drag and drop in a gold effect and as you can see it looks all right i'm happy with that it doesn't have to be perfect in this sense so i'm going to press ok now and load it back in i'm also going to copy over the exact same deep glow from the text to the bullet just to keep it consistent with the glow i'm also going to go into the particle replicator into rotation and just rotate the bullet so I can essentially just see what I'm working with. Now I'm going to raise the particle count to let's say, I don't know, nine, that works for me. I'm also going to adjust the Z value to see how big I want the bullets. And this may change later on, so it doesn't really matter just yet. So now with particle count being nine, that means there are nine bullets in the exact same place. So to put them away from each other and scatter them, we need to use, you never guess what, the scatter. So go into the replicator effects inside the particle replicator, then go into scatter and use these settings to pretty much put them away from each other and figure out a fine balance that you think is best for your clip. You can also drag through the random seed until you find something you're happy with and just go from there. Okay guys, so that's looking pretty cool to me. Now I'm going to be tweaking the rotation. So you can't have them all rotating together because that just looks, well, not good. You need to go back into particle look and then go into particle rotation now this is the one we're going to be using here rotation random okay so i'm going to go back to the start of the clip and then i'm going to keyframe rotation random go to the end and then simply move this along just like this so just tweak it along until you find something pretty cool just playing through that i'm pretty happy with that but now i'm just going to tweak around the movement of the bullets just because i feel they're in the way of it too much so guys after a bit of time just tweaking everything to look okay these are the bullets that i've come up with as you can see my settings are on the left if you want to copy them but again all of them are going to be different to yours so next thing i'm going to be doing now is actually animating the bullets in because it doesn't look right with them just sitting there in the first place so i'm going to basically let the bullets come in around when the spin finishes so i'm going to keyframe in position z just around where i want them to come in go a bit further back and simply lift up this position value to the negatives until they all disappear and you can see you can see them floating in but it's just not very smooth is it so i'm going to do a more gradual one just by dragging these along then also making sure to press f9 on this new position z keyframes go into the graph editor and make it a sharp curve just like this and you can see now it's coming in but it's still a bit too fast for me so i'm going to make it a lot more gradual just by extending the keyframe also make sure to add a motion blur because it's amazing just because i said so trust me you won't regret it and you can see now that the bullets are floating into the scene right that's pretty cool i'm also going to put the end keyframe right to the end of our clip just to give the effect that the bullets are still moving backwards so now we can see when we play through the entire thing we now have an animation of the bullets coming through the screen from further away and they're still zooming in We've come to the end of another video, guys. Hope you lot have enjoyed it. More importantly, I hope you learned something. Make sure you smash the like button, comment and subscribe to see more sick editing tutorials. Apply everything you're doing. Learn, learn, learn and edit, edit, edit. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial in a few days. Let's go.